Well, hello and Merry Christmas uh, from my family to yours. We're coming to the close of the year and we are celebrating the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's this time of the year where we remember uh, who was born and that is our Savior and our need for this uh, Savior, this great gift uh, that the Father has given us. It got me to thinking um, many, many, many years ago, I was attending another church in Rockland in New City. And um, I remember I was sitting like in the second row, um, close to the, you know, the platform. And a friend of mine tapped me on the shoulder and she gives me this gift. And I turned around and I'm like, a gift for me? I was so surprised. I didn't expect her to give me anything because, you know, we were friends. But, you know, you're giving me a gift for Christmas? So I'm like, oh, that's so nice. Thank you. You know, you didn't have to. She goes, oh, don't worry. It's no big deal. But, you know, it didn't matter that it was a big deal or a little deal. It didn't matter how much it cost. She remembered me. She remembered me. And I'm going to shout you out this this <laughs> this afternoon, Jeannie. Yeah, Jeannie Kellum. She comes and she gives you this gift. And I'm thinking, wow, she's thinking of me. Now, isn't that how the Father thinks of us? When we least expect it, right? The Father reminds us. The Holy Spirit opens up our eyes and he draws us and he reminds us that Jesus was sent this gift, an undeserving gift. We didn't deserve the gift and he sends them to us because he knows our need. Well, I'm going to go back to the church, second row, and I get this gift. And what is it? When well, later on, when I get to my car and I open it up, it was a, it's a box of chocolates, um, thin mints, you know, those little thin mints that you put it, you put in the refrigerator and they get nice, get nice and cold and, and you eat them. I mean, they're delicious. And I'm like, wow, she thought of me. Now, maybe someone would say, well, what's the big deal? It's, that wasn't an expensive gift. It doesn't matter. She thought of me and it could have been worth a million bucks because when she was thinking of me, that made me feel special. Well, I want to remind you today that the father thinks of you. Yes, he thinks of me. He thinks of us. And he thought of us when we were in need. If you have not received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and you don't understand that this little baby inside a manger is the Savior of the world, let me let you in on a secret. It's actually not even a secret. It's the good news. It's been proclaimed all over the world. Jesus Christ came to save us from our sins. Yes, he is the gift. Hallelujah. And he's his gift that... That keeps on giving. Yes, it does. It's, it's not a commercial. It's the truth. He's the originator of that saying. See, because when I uh, understand that I need a Savior and my soul gets um, saved and I have this regeneration happening with inside of me, I can't help but tell the world. And then, and then they get excited as the Lord draws them. And then they too get this light that begins to shine inside them. See, this gift of salvation is something that the Lord wants us all to have. He's thinking about us. He's thinking about you and he's thinking about me. And if you're wondering, is he thinking about me in the middle of my mess? Yes, he is. He's thinking about you and he's thinking about me. He wants to come in. He, he likes to get involved in our mess. And he likes to bring some kind of order to our lives. He is so good. He is so great. I want to let you know that when I got home and I opened up my box of mints in the car and I took them to my husband, those are his favorites. Yes. So even though I'm not a big chocolate eater, my husband was. So when I brought it home and I shared it with him, he also enjoyed this gift. See what I mean? This is how Christ is. He saves us and then we go out and we tell the world. So I hope that if you are a child of God today, you know what it means to be saved. You know what it means to be uh, redeemed by, by, by this great gift that the Father has sent Jesus Christ. You understand that the baby inside a manger is really the Savior of the world who went to the cross. I want you to share it. Yes, share it. Share it during this Christmas season. We have a little bit more time left where this opportunity to share the gospel, the good news, is just it's, it's a little bit more free. It's a little bit more available to us to be able to do that. We do that all year round, but at this time of the year, even more so. So from my family to your family, embrace the gift. Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, Merry Christmas to your family. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May you understand how much he loves you. Bye-bye. Can't wait to see you in 2022. Goodbye for now.